Hey crew, welcome back. It's Dr. Jared here at Health and Performance Center. We're going to be talking about another concept here. Um, it is what is the best exercise for women. So there's been a lot of trends with um, Zumba with kind of fun, playful type of cardiovascular exercise that have picked up, and, and that's fine, that's, that's great. We want activity in any way, shape, or form, um, but we always have to look at, hey, what's the best? What, what's actually producing results? Um, you know, activity is great, but results is where it's at, so we have to kind of look at that scientifically to make sure that whatever you're doing, you're actually doing uh, sequencing it the best way possible. Um, so what is the best exercise for women? All right, drum roll, please. Anything that increases strength, and anything uh, you know that increases strength is going to have to involve overloading tissues, meaning you have to pick things up, picking up heavy things and moving them. That's pretty much how we develop strength, and that's something that classically women have tend to um, move away from or not enjoy quite as much. Uh, that's understandable for whatever reason, but at the same time, we have to realize that it's important to whatever uh, we're doing, it's important to incorporate strength training along with any cardiovascular va exercise that we're doing. So if you're just doing Zumba, if you're just doing a, uh, a body flow class, if you're just doing you know a boot camp that doesn't involve really picking things up and moving them around, you might be limiting your capability to experience results both physiologically in terms of your um, external appearance, but also internally. And how do we know this? Well, they actually put it through a study. They realized that, you know, just in, in general, strength increases your longevity or increases your ability to experience volume. Uh, and that means you're able to do things for longer periods of time to have the opportunity for better results. We've been telling this to our running community for you know the last five, seven years, however long we've been open. Hey, you got a strength training? You got a strength? You got a strength train? You got a strength train? Hey, doc, I'm coming in. I'm kind of going on. I'm, I'm not doing very good. I'm adding time to my marathon every time. You got to work your strength in order to maintain your volume of training necessary to improve. So strength is always something that's going to increase longevity or the ability to. Uh, train with the volume necessary to make change. We also learned that strength, you know, strength training uh, decreases diabetes, mal or, uh, diabetes 30% um, in, in a recent study. And it was people who were doing cardio plus strength instead of just cardio alone. And they found that the people who were doing strength had a 30% less chance of developing diabetes. Uh, same group of people, when they worked on their strength development, they decreased their risk for cardiovascular disease by 17%. Again, versus doing some strength training in correlation with cardio versus cardio alone. So the big thing we're always going to focus on here is what is the best thing to do, whether you're male or female, it's always going to come down to how strong you are. Uh, your strength will always dictate your volume. Another way to say that, it also pr it always provides the opportunity for longevity. So if you're just doing cardio, realize you're going to have to strength train. If you're strength training, you also realize you have to work in the cardio as well. So it works kind of both ways, but we're always looking for balance around um, kind of the aspects of what makes us human, whether it's strength, power, range of motion, agility, endurance, stamina, all of these things. We have to have a nice big circle in terms of making sure we're training everything so that we live the, uh, uh, the healthiest and most capable life possible. Good luck.